Hello world, welcome to the 56th video on my channel where I'm building my own digital assistant named Shane like Jarvis from the Iron Man movies and comics. Uh, this is the second video in the cybersecurity playlist. It's been a while since we posted something about cybersecurity and uh, that's because I'm pretty unfamiliar with it but I've been studying a lot and we're going to start doing some cybersecurity for our, um, our own cybersecurity. In the previous video of this playlist, we create we used a, a Python library called Nmap, and we created our own network scanner to get the um, Wi-Fi IP address and our local IP address and display that out. So in this video, we're going to be using a library called Watchdog to uh, keep an eye on our downloads folder. And basically, it's a way of keeping track of um, a certain folder and see if there's new files and some people use this to you know keep track of you know make sure there's no malicious code or things being saved to your computer that you don't want uh, we're not going to be doing that we're just going to do a simple uh, checking of our folder so we'll start off in the code this time because besides changing one thing which is to track our downloads folder uh, the code is copy and pasted from the watchdog documentation. So I'll put the link in the description for that. But basically, you can go to um, the pip install page. You're going to pip install watchdog in the command prompt. And then you just copy and paste this whole code over. Or you can go to its GitHub by either clicking this home page here or... It's right here. Both links will be in the description. Same thing. After pip installing watchdog, you just copy and paste this code. And that's what we did. So first, you're going to import the modules. Again, if you just copy and pasted the code, you don't have to worry about a lot of this. In um, This is how the um, logging info or the script the information on the screen will come up. So it's going to give you the level, which is just informational. Um, this isn't a tutorial series, so if you don't know how logging works, there's info, there's different levels of logging statuses. And then the format will be the time and the message and then the date in this format. So the default one is this right here, path, and then you could read it. And what this is, is whatever path you're running your Python code for, that will be the one it determines that it will uh, watch for you. So I'm going to comment that out and I'm going to define my own path. So um, we're going to say path is your downloads folder. So whatever you have your downloads folder, and if you want to know how to figure that out, just uh, search for downloads and then go up here and copy and paste from your search bar. Paste it here and if you're using Windows don't forget to invert these backslashes because if you copy and paste it it'll do the forward slash. And then the rest of the code is copy and pasted so you're going to call this start a class of observer and then right here you'll see path and this is where we defined our own path. Um, again, not a tutorial, so I'm not going to go to what each one of these does. Then you're going to start and it's going to continue running until you do a keyboard interrupt or you stop the program. All right. So that's pretty much it. So let's uh, check it out real quick. So we're going to run this. All right. Let's uh, expand this a little bit. So as you can see, nothing's happening. So let's go into our downloads folder again. All right, let's uh, shrink this a little bit. Okay, let's go to new folder. Boom, and as you can see, it says the date, the time, created directory, downloads new folder. Now it's adding a uh, forward slash because now it's reading directly from Windows. So let's title this uh, test folder. All 
All right, now it's telling us that it was moved from directory. So it moved from new folder to test folder. It didn't really move. It's just we uh, called it something else. All right, let's try that again. So let's say test folder uh, one. Okay, now it looks like it moved directory, but it didn't. We just renamed it. All right, now let's delete this. All right, now it says that file has been deleted. So imagine, if you will, we were, uh, you know, if I had this code running full time on Shane, it'd be monitoring our downloads folder, and if something came up, it would notify us. That's assuming some sort of malicious code goes directly to our downloads folder. Most malicious attackers are not that dumb and they put it somewhere else. So let's stop this program or you could do keyboard interrupt, which I think is control C or shift C right, or you just stop the program. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Again, uh, pip install watchdog, copy and paste here. Define your own path if that's what you want. And that's pretty much it. So I know it's a far cry from uh, Mr. Robot and uh, Hacker Man. But again, uh, it's a start. But if you do have experience in this, uh, leave a comment. If you've done something with the watchdog, library or if you have automated your own cybersecurity using python i'd be interested to know and um, kind of curious to know where to go from here so i hope you enjoyed this video please remember to subscribe like this video and then leave a comment so thanks goodbye world